See Wahalao. Article Peter will be in shock as APC Senator reviews why INEC declared Tinubu winner without winning FCT. Nigerians, this is getting more interesting. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. In a significant development at the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, Senator Majority Leader Michael Upeyemi Bamidele took to the stand as a witness and made a statement that shed light on a critical or a crucial aspect of the case. Bamidele conveyed that, according to the law, it was not necessary for President Bola Tinubu to secure 25% of the vote in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, in order to be declared the winner of the February 25th election. During the cross-examination con uh, conducted by Yatoye Ejegede, the council representing Atiku Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Bamidele clarified that although Abuja holds the status of being the federal capital, it does not possess any special privileges beyond this uh, designation. A Jagadeh proved further questioning whether Tinubu could become president without obtaining 25% of the votes in the FCT and without winning his home, his home state, Lagos State. In response, the witness ascertained, ascertained that such factors were immaterial. Such Tunubu had fulfilled, since Tunubu has fulfilled the requirements outlined by the law. In another not, not worthy development, both Tunubu and Vice President Kasim Shetima submitted a membership registration list from the Labour Party as evidence. However, an intriguing aspect of the list was the apparent exclusion of the name of the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Tunubu's counsel, Wale, presented a total of 18 documents as evidence, including correspondence between the Nigerian police and the United States Embassy, dated February 3rd and 4th, 2003, respectively. The document also encompassed United States a visa and immigration records spanning from 2011 to 2021. These documents were accepted as exhibits by the court, despite the the form, uh, despite the opposition from the Labour Party. Additionally, a list registered Labour Party members in Anambra State was submitted, purportedly to demonstrate the Peter Obi is not a member of the party. Why the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the All Progressive Congress, APC, did not raise objections to the admission of those documents, the PDP and the Atiku vehemently protested. This latest testimony and the submission of evidence marks significant milestones in the ongoing election petition case as the court continues to evaluate the argument put forth by the involved parties. So guys, avoid it now. What's your take on this? In a significant development at the presidential election petition court, Senate Majority Leader Bamidele took to the stand as a witness and made a statement that shed light on a crucial aspect of the case, which is, according to him, that the law, according to the law, that it was not necessary for President Bola Tinubu to secure 25% of the vote in the Federal Capital Territory FCT in order to be declared the winner of the February 25th election. So, the question is, is that how they've been doing it before? 
do you apply different laws in similar situation just to satisfy your your criminal and your corrupt intentions how was the issue of 25 percent in abuja dealt with in the previous elections under what circumstances was it applied why do you now intend to shift the goal past when the game is already on nigerians are suffering let whosoever is in power do something immediately to alleviate Nigerians from this hardship. Nigerian policies, and the more you look, the less you see. This is what Nigerians have to say. There are so many of them there, but that is the least I can take for now. Now, the question is, is it how Nigeria has been doing it before, or they want to change this to suit the ruling party and if this is what this ruling party wants to do, this is really dangerous to our democracy. That means we don't get any standard constitution. Any government when come, you go just change the situation to suit them. You understand? And that is not right at all. If we continue like that, Nigeria will come become, you know, something else. So if something is not taken if action is not taken concerning what is on ground. If the, the constitution has been using 25% in FCT, let it be according to the law. Not because uh, President Bola Tinubu did not get 25% in FCT. Okay, that means, you know, uh, every other person, you know, must go in for that. And he must surely get it. That is very wrong, go. Uh -huh. They should not change the constitution, make them live them the way it be, and allow peace to reign, so that Nigeria as a country will be respected. If not, Nigeria no go come get head again. Say so anybody when come, you will change the situation and uh, the constitution to suit to suit you know he, himself. Well, make a drop and for you. Yeah? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.